Hey guys, Natalia here, and welcome back to another video. So in today's snazzy video, I will be showing you guys how to do a live stream using OBS for Animal Jam. So this has been requested many times, and that is technically why I'm recording it, because you guys want me to. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is open your web browser, and yeah, I use Chrome. So there we go, once you are on your main screen. So the second thing you want to do is write OBS download and click enter. So you want to click this link right over here where it says official site. So once you are on this website, you will have to click this green button over here that says download OBS studio. So then here you get three options and I am Windows 7 plus so choose that if you are too. So once you guys click that it should appear down here and you guys wait till it downloads. So after it is downloaded just double click it. So after this thing will appear and all you have to do is click next I agree next and install and it will start installing and this will take about one to two minutes so after this thing will appear and you click finish so after this screen will appear so that was just from when i first tried, started to live stream for the first thing you want to do is right click this section called scenes and click add and then name it whatever you want i'll just name it test scene then click OK and it will appear. So the next thing you want to do is for it to record your screen. So you go to sources, right click again, click add, and there are a lot of, and you want to click display capture. You can name it whatever you want and click OK and there it has my screen. There we go. So you probably don't want it to be very dull, so you'll probably want to add some pictures. So here you could adjust how in and out it will be, and now I will show you how to get text. So you go to sources, click add, and click right over your text. You click OK and write whatever you want, and I'll just write my YouTube channel, Nutella Plays AJ. Click OK. Here you could select a bunch of fonts. And here you could select the color, so let's just make this blue. Click OK, and then it will appear here. For some reason, it didn't turn blue, but oh well. And you could adjust where you want to put it. Easy like that. So what you want to do, go to the Sources section, click Add right over here, then click Image. You click OK and browse and find the image that you want and it could also be a gif so click the browse and the file thing should open up so after you find the image you click ok and then you can adjust the size how you want it so i'll make it like this and have it slightly go into the screen like this and it's really easy so something else that is important is the mic audio that you can turn on here and as you can see as I am speaking it is going up and down and I suggest you guys put it to the very loudest. And here is the desktop audio if you are playing music this green bar will start going up and down. Also if you want to make a new scene you click add name it as you want and there will be a plain black scene so if you're like afk you can just put something in so a last thing i want to show you guys today is how to put a browser or your subscriber count onto the screen so the first thing you want to do is get the link that you want and then copy the link then you go back to obs go to sources right click and click add so after you click add you go to browser source and click that click ok and now you'll just have to paste the link into it so here is what will appear you delete this right over here and paste what you had and i just can delete this com and click ok and it should open up where it is loading right over there 
So now the very last thing you want to do is first of all adjust this right over here and it is live if someone subscribes to you it will move up. You can adjust it how you want and the size of it. And now the most important part is how to go live. So you have to go to video manager and how to get there you can just click creator studio or video manager when you click to your channel and then you click this live streaming section and I actually have a live stream going right now. But what we need right now is to scroll down and have the stream key that you do not want to reveal to anyone. Because if anyone finds it out, then you can actually live stream on your channel. So what you do is you click the reveal button. And then all you have to do is copy it. And yeah, and that's it. And now this is what you do next. So now we are back in OBS. And what you have to do is over here, click settings. Let me move my recording click settings so after you click that this will appear and you click stream and you enter your stream key and then you click show and it will show and another thing is there will be service so if you want to do it on twitch you click twitch if you want to do it on youtube click youtube so i of course do it on youtube and you go click it right over here stream service this does not matter so here's output audio you can adjust your microphone the video settings how much you do and here's some advanced settings that I don't really go to but after you do that you click OK and it will all be adjusted so it's really easy just like that so now the final step to go live is of course go live so what you do is you click start streaming right over here in it start streaming which I will not be clicking because I already have a stream going and even if I didn't I would not want to start it another stream at this time also it's easy you can also record doing this so that's very helpful even though I use screencast-o-matic for now thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful once more I hope you have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like on this video comment what you want to see next and subscribe goodbye my Italians